Can you tell me what systems engineering is? Systems engineering, you can almost think like uh, a part of project management, but more than management, it is a way it is a way of thinking and it is a way of delivering the system the right very first time. How does it compare to project management? Unlike project management, systems engineering comes into picture at the very start or the inception of a project and it takes the project all the way through its various stages to completion and delivery and effective um, implementation of what the customer wants. And can systems engineering be applied across all forms of engineering? Absolutely. And uh, you know, if you look at many of the products that we use, say like our iPhone, it is a product that has come out of uh, uh, contributions from mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, controls and systems, manufacturing engineering, so the tools that these days we use are inherently cross-disciplinary. What kinds of, of industries can you apply systems engineering to? If you think of it, anywhere you want to develop a challenging system, you can almost think systems engineering as something that you want to have. Whether you want to develop a good communication system, if you want to develop a good health um, care system, whether you want to develop an air defense missile system. So from anywhere that you want to develop a system and develop it right the very first time, you want to integrate systems engineering into that program. Can you give me an example of a project that would require systems engineering? Absolutely, and uh, the project that is very close and uh, dear to me is the uh, system that I work on every day. I work for a company that develops uh, commercial satellites and uh, if you have direct TV or dish network chances are you are watching the satellites that we have built and this is a perfect sy system where systems engineering has to be applied because once the satellite is launched in the orbit and it is released into the orbit at 22,300 miles away from the Earth, there's no way to retrieve it back if there are any flaws in the system. So we have to deliver the satellite into the orbit the right very first time. So any program or any broadcast from the direct TV goes to the TV sets of the customer. Typically, how many systems engineers would one project require? Say, if I have to give you an example on the commercial satellite development, this project runs for about uh, anywhere between 24 to 30 months. So during that process, I would say there are about 10 systems engineers who are working on this project. And while there may be 100 other engineers working in the overall project. What kind of experience does one need to be a systems engineer? If you ask me personally, I would like an engineer to have worked in five to seven years in different subsystems before graduating to become a systems engineer. However, there are many universities right now are, that are offering systems engineering course both at the undergraduate level as well at graduate level. There is a demand for systems engineers? Oh, absolutely, and they are looking for people because systems engineers ultimately graduate into becoming effective program managers. And that's why people who want to get into program management, systems engineering is a natural process uh, that will get into becoming not only program managers, but very effective program managers. What makes systems engineering fun? It's the process of uh, starting something that looks that is only on paper or in dreams and then at the end making the dreams reality. The whole thing of making anybody's dreams come to reality itself is a fun for me. Mm -hmm.